Hi everybody, welcome back to the Zenith 750 Super Duty build. Just got back from Oshkosh. I got to meet some of you guys there around the grounds or at the Zenith banquet dinner. I had this shirt made for the dinner. It says 90% done, 90% to go with my airplane on there. <laughs> I thought it was just a fun shirt, but I'll probably never wear it again. I'm just wearing it for this video and then maybe when I do painting and stuff like that. But anyway, I thought it was kind of a cool shirt. Uh, so let's see, I'm back from Oshkosh and I'm super motivated to get back to work on this airplane. My goal is to fly this airplane to Oshkosh next year. I don't know if I'll make that goal, but that is the goal for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start from the very back end of the airplane and work my way all the way forward, finishing up all of the little things that need done. So the very first thing I'm going to do in the back is get the Aero LED's Suntail light uh, wired. Now right now there's really not much to do with that light. I do need to put the connectors on the cable that runs through the fuselage, but let me show you why I like this light so much on the back of the airplane. With the nav light on, it's a steady white light. If I turn on the strobes, then it also has a strobe. And if I turn off the nav light, then it's just a strobe. I want to get the wire in the fuselage ready for the light, so I have all of my pins in this case, and it's just a matter of selecting the right one. If you get the Aero LED lights, they do come with the pins and connector. And also, you'll notice on the light itself, there is a green wire. That green wire is used to synchronize all of your lights if you want to do that, which I don't. So I've cut off the green wire. Using the proper crimping tool, which is very important, I'm just crimping on all three of these connectors to all three wires. There is a big, thick aluminum skid plate that goes on the back of the airplane. And this is mine right here. I've rounded off the corners here on the front and back just to make it look good. I drilled a hole and it gets installed on the bottom of the airplane just like this. So I will now take this to the powder coaters. Instead of painting this, I'm going to have it powder coated black. This is the little fiberglass dorsal fin fairing that I made for the front of the dorsal fin. So I painted it black and it is ready to install. I actually painted this yesterday and here's what it looks like on the airplane on the right side and the left side. It's not screwed in yet because I don't know if I still have to remove the dorsal fin or not. And as you can see, that's not riveted either. One of the other things I finished up was installing these little brake lines here. These, this brake line here just connects to two calipers. They're super easy to put on. And I made a pen mark here because the instructions will tell you once you put this in here, you rotate this one full turn. These do come with instructions that are very handy and useful. Just a couple pages here. It tells you how to line these up. Yours may not line up straight like this, like mine are both angled out a little bit. I think every installation would be a little bit different. But here it tells you how to cut the little hose that goes on there. And then uh, that little spring will go on that hose, just like you see here. And then that's the final setup. And it kind of walks you through step by step on how to do it. Simple and easy. Well, in order to start from the very back, I need to get that rudder painted. So I decided to scuff it up and get two coats of primer spray. Here's the rudder with two coats of primer. 
and I want to get it painted yellow as soon as I can. And I also primed this little piece. This is what holds the light on the back of the rudder. So when I paint the rudder, I can paint this and they'll both be ready to go. I wanted to show you my paint booth again. This paint booth really, really works nicely. Instead of using these as the inlet filters, which I was going to use there, I bought this roll of fiberglass material. It's made for paint booths. It's a filter. And what I did was I put up a wire mesh here so that it doesn't get sucked in. And I have from the top to the bottom that uh, filter. And then I have all my lights here. And they're always plugged in, so when I want them on, I just pull each one and turn them on. And I have a filter filtering the exit air. And I have this uh, fireproof fan. It's made for paint booths. It's really loud, but man, does it suck air. So I just put this in front of it and it filters the air going out, but it's really nice. I can be in the back of the paint booth and just spray my paint gun and I can see all the, the spray going up there. So it really, really works nice. So I have the rudder in there drying and uh, paint is coming up next for that. But one of the other things I did to try to make it a little bit neat was I had, well, I gotta do something with this wire but I got these little clips at Home Depot and I just have this extension cord going down to the floor and then it goes all the way around and it comes up here and it just exits the paint booth here and on the wall somewhere right about there is where it's plugged in. So keeps it out of the way, it keeps me from tripping on it and it works good. And if you don't know, this whole wall here is a door that opens up. So when I want to bring the wings and big parts like that in the booth, I just open that door, walk it in, and then close the door. Well, other than install one seat belt on the pilot side, that's all I've gotten done so far. But it was a lot of work. Like I said, I'm going to start from the back, work my way forward, and by the time I get to the engine, everything behind that hopefully will be done. I just want to remind everybody, if you are looking for nice fairings for your airplane, visit kitplaneenthusiast.com. We have fairing kits available for the Cruiser, the Stoll, the Super Duty, and I believe very soon here we're going to have the fairings for the 701. We also have some very, very nice seats that will fit any of the 750 series airplanes. You can check those out online. And we also have complete brake line and fuel line kits for the Super Duty and the Stoll and the Cruiser. Be sure to visit kitplaneenthusiast.com to check out all those goodies. There's one other thing I forgot to show you guys. If you remember, when I had this fairing on before, this little tab was yellow because it's connected to there. And I painted that green so now, when this is on, you no longer see a yellow tab hanging down. Looks way more better. -er.